lot of bands that are that are from Detroit are not necessarily from Detroit proper. The Greenhorns, the Cyril Lords, Soledad Brothers are are technically from Ohio. If you live in Toledo, you you know you find yourself coming up here more and more often, so you just move here. They would come up regularly, like once a month, you know, and became a couple times a month, and just kind of would adopt it into the scene. If we had been a terrible band, we may not have you know, stood a shot at you know, befriending everybody, but it just worked out that way. The Soledad Brothers had the same vibe and the same um, drive to be a band as other bands in Detroit. People understood the aesthetic over, you know, necessarily being like a really technically great band. You know, there was lots of people I had that in common with. The Soledad Brothers originally were a two-piece. It was just very, very, you know, basic. Um, it's blues, you know, and I mean Detroit is just steep in blues history. What we were trying to exploit was just that sort of like Dr. Ross, John Lee Hooker sort of just grabbing the boogie, like just the straight groove and just beating it to death into the ground and just like kind of get that, like what Junior Kimbrough used to call the endless groove. Johnny's wise because Johnny has a day job. He's a doctor. Good idea. Get your medical degree, then join a band.